Illustrator CS5 comes with a selection of default brushes. To display the brushes, go to Window, Brushes. I've got the brushes palette open here already. And on the right side, you will see a little drop down. Go to the Open Brush Library, and you will see all the brushes that are available currently in Illustrator CS5. This could be for CS4 or whatever. They would have maybe different selection of brushes. Right. If you go to the folder, I'm just going to quickly go to it. It's in Program Files, Adobe Illustrator CS5. Again, like I say, it could be for CS4, CS3. They all have their own structure of then presets, EN underscore GB or EN underscore US for the US one, and brushes. And you will see the same selection of brushes there. So arrows, if I go into there, you will see the, the files I've just shown you in the menu drop down. Now, if you want to add your own brushes to that, just simply copy a brush file, which is an AI format, into this folder, into the brushes folder. And if you do that, it will appear in the drop down here. Now, personally, I think the easiest way is actually not to do that at all. And that is just go to the brushes palette and right click, open brush library and use the other library command. And then move, browse for the file. So I've got a selection here, brushes from graphicextras.com. Just got a selection here, like whole variety of turtle, doodles, diamond designs, those sort of things. And I'm just gonna go and select the curved designs, brushes, AI format, that's what you want to look. Now you can find many AI files available on the web, but uh, let's like say you can find them on graphicextras.com as well. Click open. Now, as soon as you do that, the library will open. At this point, you can't actually edit the brushes. So you've just got a library, it's, a, it's actually locked. So just select the brush, so just click on the brush, brushes you want to use, of course you can select them when you want to actually use them, but I'm just quickly showing that they can be added quickly to the documents brush library, just by just clicking them. Of course you can just then just apply the brush, so just quick brush stroke and the brushes will appear so just go through, select any of the brushes you want, and then apply them to basically pass or text or brush strokes. Of course, you can also export them. You can modify the brushes and all those sort of things, as well as saving your own brushes from those.